that that's the thing that what I really like and why I gave like the warning up front, which I don't normally give explicitly, is because the first five or ten minutes of the movie sets up what could be an extremely different movie than what you get. Right, exactly. And and, and they, they don't follow along with that. You know, it could be an entire movie of just him running this podcast, and that could have been, like, the final act. It could have been, like, oh, here's what happens when you, like, encourage people's bad behavior. Yeah. But they didn't do that. Well, and it hit home for me, too, because, you know, we, as you know, like, we had two two listeners – um, take their own lives after listen, watching quickly. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know where that was going to go. <laughs> wow. Yes. I, now that you say that, I do recall. You do recall the two listeners. I do listeners recall that, that we encourage people to watch Quigley, and now we have two fewer <laughs> listeners. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You know, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> It is what it is, though. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta soldier on. Yeah. Uh, I, so I wanted. I have, I have things I want to say. There's so many things that mm. I really like about this movie. So many things. Yeah. Um, one. And I, and I said this while we were watching it. Um, I love that the movie is a romance disguised as a horror movie. And I like I, I kind of said it jokingly when we were watching it, but it's true. It's really true at the same time because. Like this is Don's love story. This yeah. is yeah. this is him. You know, he's an emotional guy who hides it behind his tough cowboy image. But it's everything he's doing in this movie. He's doing in memory of his wife. Um, that's always in the background. So it's it's kind of cool. Like when you realize how much he hates Alan, <laughs> but yet. He loves his wife more than he hates Alan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like so that's that's cool. And the actor who plays Don, and I'm sorry I don't know his name, but the actor who plays Don, like, it's very good. Yeah. Like he nailed it. Yeah. yeah. He's he's convincing in every way. Yeah. There was so much like humor in this movie too that just is and 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 Don, that character is responsible for most of it. If, oh yeah. I mean it's definitely the strength of the movie. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he may not be the main character, but he is definitely the best character in the movie. Yeah. And uh, oh, what was I going to say about the the horse? <laughs> the horse. <laughs> There's a horse. <laughs> There's a horse. That, that shows up and it's like he, he claims that he just it showed up one day. And so he built a fence around it. And uh, but when he cries, when he cries because the horse is gone the next day. Yeah. It just, I loved it. Yeah, uh, like there's there's a story there, and I don't know what it what it is. What we're yeah. supposed to take from that? I mean, obviously, the he cares more for the horse than he yeah. admits. Does that mean that it was actually his wife's horse, and he just lied about it? Or well, this is what or does he just get attached to things easier than he wants to believe? I don't know. Yeah, and that and this is where you know li- how they leave a lot of things to the imagination. Yeah, like. Another part that just came to mind to me was when he was about to explain really why he was going to try to kill the monster. Right. And then he gets harpooned through the chest. Yeah. And we never find out. We never yeah. find out. It's all like there's so much in this movie that is left to your imagination. Yeah. But again, it works. It like, works. Like it should be frustrating mm-hmm. that like you're like, oh, we're going to find out this key piece of information and then we don't. But I'm not like mad about no. it. No, like I'm actually. I feel like, oh, you added another level of mystery that yeah. you know makes me curious, but not not angry curious. Yeah. Just more like, oh, there was another layer to this. So um, I, th- I feel like that's probably hard to do, but they did it. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I had to be give a bit beef with this movie, oh, I no. felt that it's the only thing is is that I think they had, like I, one of you said. That this is almost three movies in one. Yes. Yes. And and I felt like what they did is they set up for a really good movie three times and then they completely pivoted over to like movie two. So like like you said, the introduction of it with him having the podcast and the guy killing whoever was down in his basement. That was a really good setup for a really good story. But then they kind of completely pivoted over to introducing Don. And then Don was a really, really good story. And then they killed Don off. And yeah. then they turned it into this booby trap thing. Yeah, yeah. Ab- absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I 
I'm happy with the way it's done. Like I'm again, I'm not mad about it. But but they could, like I said before, like the first part, you could have made this the story of this guy who's a podcaster who's increasingly taking advantage of his listeners, and then it ends with this tragedy. You could do that. The second one, there's you know entire probably subgenres of people monster hunting. Obviously, there's Bigfoot movies. Yeah, and then yeah, and then the third one, the third part is. You know, the character, Alan, calls it the escape room from hell. Yep. But really, like, there's there, Saw movies are kind of like that. The Collector is yeah. kind of like that. You know, not to the same, like, this isn't that. This doesn't fall into that whole torture porn thing. Right. But the whole idea of being in a place where, like, you have to defeat the traps, that is a whole thing in itself. Yeah. And so you're absolutely right that each one of these could have been its own movie. But I'm not mad that they, in, they that they did it like this, where each time you think you've figured out, oh, this is going to be the story. No. <laughs> it, I'm not mad about it either, because in the end, it was all it was all really good. Yeah. But the problem with it was, was that it kind of, like, towards the end of each segment, it, suck, it was really starting to suck you into that concept. Mm-hmm. And then it switched. Mm-hmm. And you're like, so now when I look back at it, I look at it as, well, God, it would have been really cool to see more closure on that part and more closure on that part and more closure on that part. And they just yeah. kind of took it all and slammed it into, I mean, there was too much going on in the movie and it, it was all really good, but it was too much and too short of a I, time. I agree. Like, this would be super cliche to do this. So, like, I'm kind of glad they didn't do it, but... I, you know, Don being the best character, it would have been cool for him to have not been dead and then kind of come back later on in the booby trap part and being like, oh, you know, it's a horror movie, so I'm not really dead. (laughs) I just got harpooned in the chest. (laughs) And then he, like, you know, becomes the hero and pulls through. Like That would have been cool to kind of bring him back and, and tie those two segments together more. But, yeah, I... That is that is sort of like going against what you expect because that's how horror movies work. Yeah, is that is that you know people aren't necessarily dead until you see and them dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if you were to expect everything, it wouldn't be a very fun movie to watch. Yeah, so that's true. But I just feel like as soon as they had something going, yeah, they kind of switched gears, and mm-hmm. and that was a little disappointing because I think they had like this is written great like the yeah. story behind it is amazing but it's just like i felt like i kind of got cheated on every little yeah. section i would have liked to see more they could have made this movie six hours long Ooh. they were easily you know that's high praise <laughs> you know you know what my favorite scene in this movie like was? i i'm not i don't want it to be six <laughs> hours long but i but <laughs> but it's always good to feel like you want more yeah yeah, yeah what's your favorite scene jason it, it i'm really embarrassed to say this because there's so much good scenes in this movie but literally, it's such a stupid scene when he when the guy shows up at the farm and he looks at the horse and the horse looks at him and they have a moment. <laughs> that's, I don't, not, that's not stupid. I don't know why, but that is my favorite fucking scene. I love that they did that. I, I do too. I mean, I, I feel like moments like that when they do stuff like that in movies where it's almost just like... It it kind of is a good signal that, the mo- that, that this movie, they really thought a lot about it. They thought about it, and they're kind of like winking at the audience. Yeah. Like, because, like, when you're watching it as a movie, like, it's a funny little moment. Mm-hmm. But, like, you gotta think, like, when they're putting this together, when yeah. when Alan's, like, looking back at the horse the second time, yeah, and he's like, oh, the horse has <laughs> looked at me. <laughs> yeah. Like, when they're filming that, he's probably not actually looking at a horse. Right. So he yeah. has to, like, pretend uh-huh. that he just made this connection with a horse. <laughs> yeah. It was just a, such a random thing to, to throw in there. And I, I just love stuff like that. It's like that one scene that I don't remember what movie we watched where the guy's like, look what I can do. <laughs> yes. And what was that? Uh, oh, Do you crap. remember? Yes. But, oh. <laughs> It was a recent. I mean, it's Patrick Warburton yeah. doing the doing the thing. It's in an office, oh, and everybody's oh, oh, getting wow. killed. Yeah, that was the Bob one, wasn't it? Not uh, Bob Boy. The other one. It was oh, uh, Bad Milo. Bad Milo. Yeah. Bad yeah. Milo. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so out of place with the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah. But it is a great moment. Yeah. But it's 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 similar to that, where it just seems like really random. 
They're kind of thrown in there, but I...